Okay, Rupali, we're here at uh, the 1298 uh, Avenida Fregata. Just to give you an idea of the kind of the neighborhood, I'm going to show you a little bit about around the kind of the neighbors here so you can see their yards and we're going to work our way into the house. So you have a little bit of a home tour. I'll try not to get you too dizzy. I know uh, sometimes I can move a little too fast on these things and uh, you might need some Dramamine. So, uh, you know, garage door looks like it's in okay condition. It's not in perfect condition. You know, grass could use a little love, but you know, there's at least some green stuff out there. Um, yeah, so it's not like, you know, go for hold up, but you know, it needs some, it needs some love. Um, but some of the other landscapes, okay. Let's take a look in here. I'll stop here for a second so you can kind of get a feel for this. The wood floors are not perfect. But they're not destroyed, you know, they've been lived on. Um, I, I'd say if I had to give them a, a one through 10 in condition, I'd give them probably about a seven or a six. They don't, I don't see any damage, um, but they're, they're nice looking. And the kitchen, we have a, I don't know what you think about the fixture there, but at least it's not an antique. Cabinets look like, you know, they're, they're, they're not damaged, but they're a little, you know, they're used, people have used these. Um, but I'd say these are in good condition. Countertops also in good condition. So, so far, you know, this, this home has been lived in. It, it doesn't look like, you know, this isn't like a flip or it's pristine. Um, but I would say so far, it looks like it's in good condition. Get back here, get you a view here. I'm gonna give you an idea. Uh, so there's it's quite a bit of uh, living space here. So you got a little dining room area, and then the space here is pretty good size, right? Let's go take a look at the back. Plantation shutters all throughout, which is you know that's nice. That's a nice add-on. Uh, it gets expensive to buy window coverings unless you hate those and want to get your own. Um, but if you're going to rent it, then I think these things will work just fine. And then you can get what you want when you move in. Backyard, yeah. So you know it looks like. It looks like they kind of let the yard go. I mean, it's it's surviving, you know? So I don't know if they had a dog or somebody just lost interest in this house or maybe it was a rental property for them and they're getting rid of it. I'll see if I can get the scoop from the agent. Um, but yeah, the hill probably needs a little bit of love and irrigation, but it's not, you know, this is just a little bit of water and a maintenance guy or a gardener man or woman. And I think, uh, you know, this could be sorted out pretty quickly. This isn't look horrendous. It is a corner lot, which is nice. So you don't really have a neighbor up on that side. You do get a little bit of a shed here, which is great. It's a nice looking shed, you know, it's not junk. And you do have a big wide gate. So that allows you to put maybe other items in your backyard. The covered patio is a nice feature when it gets hot. So this is a, it's a good, good, good sized backyard. Let's see what, let's take a look. Oh, let's take a look at the other side over here. Okay, so I just throw it, you know, regular side, side of the yard. And then, uh, this looks like this is, uh, roof is synthetic, which is great. That's not gonna fall apart on you. You're getting eaten by termites too quick. And this, let's see what this is. Oh yeah, this is all synthetic, that's great. Um, the thing that around here, we get a lot of termites in Southern California and any wood structure could eaten up pretty quick. So that's good news. So I know I'm pointing out all the obvious stuff that realtors do that people hate. Like here's the bathroom, um, but here's a half bath. And so the sink's not bad. You know, you left the mirror. Okay, this is, um, I'd say so far everything looks like it's in good condition. You know, like I said, this hasn't been remodeled or redone so it's like mint or perfect condition. Oh, here's the water pressure regulator. You know, that doesn't look ancient, so that's good. You know, you want a uh, home inspection will let you know if that's in good order. And then you've got some racks up here, which is nice for extra storage. And the water heater. All right, well, it's not, uh, it's not a rust bucket. So that might last you for a little bit longer. We'll see what the home inspection says, but it's pretty good size. 
And uh, also I noticed that uh, you do have some rafters for storage. And then of course they drywall the, the, the interior, which is, which is nice. The garage door itself. Okay, yeah, fairly standard stuff. Not insulated, not that you really need that here. And then there is a little laundry room. That's a decent sized laundry room here. I know we'd have to ask for the washers and dryers. I mean, I, I think if we're gonna write a clean offer right now, I'd worry less about, oh boy, uh, that always makes me nervous and I have to find a door to the inside of the house where they put the gimp. Oh, the gimp, the gimp! Oh, sorry, I had a little fun there. So a little storage area here. Okay, that's cool. A little storage area there. Harry Potter's house, or uh, Gimp's house, whatever you want to call it. And here we go. Let's go upstairs. So the stairs, looking at the wood. You know, for being a lived-in house, the wood looks, doesn't look horrible. And then right away, dude, that's pretty, pretty good size. Um, Bathroom for the hall, one sink, cabinets are in decent shape, hardware looks pretty nice. Toilet looks dated, but you know, it looks fairly, it looks operational, right? Another uh, space I'd say, it looked, so far it looks like it's in good condition. Lived in, but not abused. And uh, you know, those wood floors are, are pretty nice, this carpet's for people living in it, it's actually in, yeah, you know, we're hitting, we're hitting a lot of goods here. Not hitting abused, bad, neglected, except for the, except for the landscape. Let's see what we got here. And I was gonna look at the little caulking down there. All right, so I'm taking you through those boring details. You kind of go on this little walk through with me. So you got the little tub there, that's great. The little shower thing here. Two sinks, the vanity, the vanity, this is the vanity mirrors are in bad shape. The lighting fixture up there is in decent shape. So yeah, I mean, if you want to rent this, rent this out, I think you could pretty much just clean it up, you know, give it a quick, a quick uh, power wash and this thing would be good to rent. You know, and then of course I'd definitely get a landscaper. I think we, we can just talk about your strategy on the whole landscaping thing down the line off, off record. You know, individual water closet there. Okay. It's a decent sized room. It feels, we'll have to look at the measurements, but it feels like maybe 14 by 12 or something like that. So this is basically the master. Opens up onto. Okay, the master opens up to the backyard. Well, that's nice. So you're not really getting road noise or anything like that. And then of course the, the two bedrooms up here. So these are these are more like your 10 by 10s or 11 by 10s, right? And this is uh you know the fans and that's a nice looking fan. It's in good shape. The, all the window coverings. I mean, let's check on the inspections. They look like they're in decent shape. So you may not have to do a lot of replacing there. And then a little closet kit. I mean, it's not fancy, but it's it's better than nothing. Somewhat of a partial walk-in closet kind of thing. And a little storage pot here. Okay. There we go. And then the third bedroom. These aren't huge, but you know the master's good size. So here you get a little bed bedroom, little bedroom set in here. This one's got of course the smaller um closet and doors are yeah yeah kind of cheaper ones but they work okay so overall yeah it's looking this place is in good shape you know good shape like i said not outstanding um you know who knows what they'll find the inspection these these homes aren't terribly old i remember when i was touring these they were relatively new back in the day so yeah, this would be a, this could be a producer for you. And then, you know, a good place to live if, uh, you know, you want, you want to come down here and make this your home. Fireplace is uh, in decent shape. 
Yeah. So one last look here. One last look from a couple different angles. Back here. All right, so I, like I said, I hope I haven't made you sick um, running around, but um, you know, I hope this is giving you a little better perspective of what to expect with this home when we're not getting the glamour shots from the photos and, and that. So if you were to ask me, I'd say, yeah, this is a place is in good shape. Um, you know, everything's, you know, nothing's fancy here, but it's, it's good. It's good quality, but not fancy, right? And the landscape needs just some, some TLC. Uh, but I've seen way worse back in 08 and such when people would just, it would just be dirt, right? So that's it. Um, and I'll, I'll be chatting with you, chatting with you soon.